What is the story of your worst date? He stuck his fingers in my dessert, licked his fingers and did it again. I ordered a lemon meringue pie and offered him to some, he said no only to then proceed to say actually that looks good and sticks his fingers in for a taste. Yuck. Went out with guy from work who I didn't know much about. He turned out to be a dick in many ways and was drunk when I showed up. Low light of the night was when he started dutchily heckling the small cover band that was playing in the bar. The guy on the mic said, I'll give you $10 out of my own pocket if you can tell me this girl's name and you guessed it, he literally blanked on my name in front of a room full of people. Forgot the kicker. The next day he texted me saying, you can try again, as if I was the one who blew it. I had been seeing this guy for a few months but he kept me on the down low and didn't want to commit. Finally took me out to dinner in public we sat at the bar. A little after we ordered his two friends got to the bar and he immediately got up before they spotted us. He went over to them and sat and ate dinner with them and texted me not to come over. So I sat alone for most of the night until his friends left. He took off his pants. After a first date of dinner and a movie he asked if I'd like to have some fun. I said no. He apologized for overstepping himself. I told him hey, I totally understand and it's okay. Now the confusing part, he took my word okay as consent for I totally want to do sex now. So he immediately and quickly took off his pants such awkwardness when I explained it was still a no. From the get go, talking to her was honestly like talking to a ducking brick wall. If I asked her a question, her reply was typically one word or at most a single sentence and no questions in return or any effort to keep the conversation going. At one point, she got up to go to the toilet, and the older woman who was sitting at the table next to us leaned over and whispered to me I have to say, I really admire your patience. She is a nightmare. I went out one night with some of my girl friends. I was the young, naive girl in our group. We went to this bar that is on a lake and had a great time drinking margaritas. I met a guy, we danced, laughed really clicked. My girlfriends were ready to go, I didn't want to. He was making promises that he could get me home, but the DD in our group put her foot down and said we had to go. We exchanged numbers and made promises to talk soon, and the DD took us girls home. The next day, I get a text from him. I'm so excited because he had to be interested if he texts the next day right? We make plans for dinner and he offers to pick me up. Him, so, pick you up at the same address? Me, same address? What are you talking about? Him, the house I dropped you off at. Me, you didn't drop me off? Him, shut up. We had sex in your driveway. Me, um, no, we did not. Him, yes, we did. Me, I'm really confused. And I think you are too, but I'm not the girl you went home with last night. So the date died before it ever got started. Grateful for the DD though. She was a lifesaver. Met a guy at a professional night out, he seemed interesting. He invited me out for Chinese food and a movie, but insisted I come by his house first to meet his four dogs, because not liking his dogs would be a deal breaker. Cool, I love dogs. I follow directions to his house, which is a mobile home with a small fenced yard. So the dogs must be little, I think. No. Four large, mannerless dogs living inside this mobile home and the smell is completely encompassing. Turns out dinner and a movie meant watching one of the thousands of VHS tapes and DVDs he owned while he tried to get the clothes off me, while four big dogs bounced around. I declined his kind offer of incredible sex and got out of there. My clothes went directly in the washer and my car smelled like dogs for days. Met online back in 2003. Agreed to meet at a diner we both knew. I got there first. She arrived, hit the gas instead of the brake, drove into the curb then hit a light pole which fell over and landed on a parked van. No one got hurt but she was pretty embarrassed. Never heard back from her. <laughs> Haven't had many dates but the worst slash funniest was from Tinder, shock. The plan was to start at my house as a double date then if it went well split up and go out. It never got to the last part because he shit in my toilet, blocked it with toilet roll, got embarrassed when my friend went in, and left. Oh and he forgot his jacket in the rush so got one of his friends to come and get it the next day. Went out with a guy who was a medic in the Navy. He looked nothing like his pictures but I carried on out of politeness. 
Over the course of the next three hours he bragged about all of the people he knew who had successfully killed themselves. Bragged about how many times he had encouraged suicidal people to kill themselves and how he had often self-harmed with them. To make things worse, he worked in the hospital and was telling me how he would give depressed patients sharp objects and tell them that it was less paperwork for him to do if they killed themselves. He also didn't have a clue about most medical conditions and would just send people away telling them they're fine. He finished off by telling me about his really messed up family and how his two 13 to 15 year old brothers had been arrested for stealing and burning cars. And his sister kept trying to stab all the family members. Suffice to say I made a swift exit and never went on Tinder again. It's not my date, because my bad dates are just boringly regular stuff, but working in bars and restaurants, I've been able to witness some absolute disease. And boy does this one take the cake, so, it's a fairly quiet night and it's pretty early, and I have a reservation for 6pm for two people. Young guy shows up for that reservation about 10 minutes early, tells me he's very nervous, as he's on a first date, and hasn't been on many of them, all that kind of jazz, kinda sweet really. Anyways, I seat him, and the girl arrives, like, 30 minutes late. She then proceeds to get extremely drunk. About halfway through the meal, though, she answers her phone, takes the call, and starts talking about her date, in front of her date, saying stuff like he's not really my type, I don't exactly like him but I figured I had nothing else planned tonight so why not. Young man looks super discouraged, pays his bill, and leaves. He's a nice lad, I've seen him a few times at the bar I work at now. I got a girl's number and went to the dentist a few days later. Four wisdom teeth and a lot of drugs later, I apparently showed the dentist her number as my emergency pickup. I have no memory of these events, but apparently she picked me up, took me to the pharmacy for my medication, and dropped me off at my apartment, where I passed out. That was our first and only date. Apparently I didn't make a good impression. Can't blame her for that. I have no idea why the dentist office asked drugged up me for a pickup number. I assume they couldn't reach my primary help number, but I never asked. I was 28 or 29 years old at the time. We'd been talking for approximately 10 minutes over one drink. Him, so do you want kids? Cause if you do, you don't want to wait too long. You're drying up. It's biology. Don't be mad. Then there was the time I met a guy for coffee, it was like 9 or 10 a.m. The coffee shop was busy but fairly quiet. He'd ask me a question, I'd answer and he'd loudly exclaim nice. High five he did this like 4 or 5 times before I had to tell him to stop. I didn't want to keep high-fiving. Went to Buffalo Wild Wings because he wanted to watch the MMA fight. Got there, casual conversation, but he kept looking at his Blackberry and heaving these overly dramatic sighs. Finally asked what was wrong and he said, I didn't want to bring it up but my ex fiance was killed in a plane crash today. Cue up the ong, so sorry with a bit of skepticism. Fight finished, he got our, separate, checks and then said he'd walk me to my car. Get there and he says, so. You coming over to make me feel better or what? Mm, no, sorry, hard pass on the sympathy sex. Quick Google search upon arriving home revealed no plane crashes anywhere that day which isn't to say there wasn't one but I would put a lot of money on there probably wasn't one. He texted me the next day to say he had a good time but it was a shame I was such a buzzkill. We were both broke, so we went walking around this cute teeny tiny country town near us, and then got McDonald's to eat in the car so we could chat some more. He almost immediately starts pressuring me for sex because he bought me a cheeseburger, so I owe him, he says. He starts getting pushy, and I say, okay, but let's go get some condoms from this gas station that's on the other of town. I drove for this date, so I take us to the gas station, and tell him to go get the condoms while I wait. I wait for him to get in the door and go a bit farther into the store before I drive off leaving him stranded in this tiny gas station in the days before cell phones got popular, in a tiny country town with no bus service, no ride shares, and everything shuts down by 6 p.m. I know from mutual friends he made it home, but they already knew why he'd been ditched at the gas station, so no one cared about his shitty whining about it. As a biological woman, this was the first time that I'd ever gotten a date with a girl. We were going to go out to lunch together and get to know each other. I spent all morning as a bundle of nerves trying to be super pretty for the date, I don't usually dress up at all. We met up at the restaurant and she pulls out her bible and starts talking to me about how homosexuality is a sin and she can save my soul. 
Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.